Here's a quick video of the setup that I have in practice. I'm out at a uh, national park and we slept in our Jeeps last night. I'm the only one left. I'm meeting someone else later today. But it is actually raining and I wanted to give a quick review of the umbrella setup as well as my interior setup so that you can actually see it in practice and whether or not it's working. It's starting to come down pretty good. As of right now with the umbrellas, they have not leaked at all the way that I have them set up. I can actually lower the hatch by only moving this one slightly out of the way. And there is a breeze and, and these aren't moving too much. This umbrella is only held up by a bungee cord attached to the roof rack there and then another one to the other umbrella. And it, it hasn't moved too much. I wouldn't recommend this, obviously, for high winds or anything like that. And since it is rain and we are spending the night, I went ahead and put this tarp up as well so that we can get at, in and out of the side door uh, without an issue. But it's more important to me to have uh, the rear door open and closed, and that's why I have the umbrellas back here, and that's how I'm going to travel more than likely on the uh, cross-country trip. And then I'll have a tarp for a situation where we're able to actually tie up the trees. And this tarp here is only held on with Harbor Freight long magnets that you can get for free if you find the coupons. So I've got one there, I've got another one up front there, and it, it really does hold. Uh, it moves a little bit, but it, it holds fairly well. And then on the other end, I just have uh, 20 lengths 20 foot lengths of paracord that I bought and I just wrap those to trees as anchor points that works really well and I've done the same thing over our fireplace and it keeps the rain off of us and the fire when it's raining and it's high enough that uh, it doesn't melt it I've done that quite a few times and never had an issue you don't make the fire big enough that uh, it's gonna melt that portion but it's just a tarp if it does so the inside, I slept on this side last night and it worked pretty well. I had enough room to move around. Uh, I need to do something about the open space underneath the pillow. I have an ammo box there, but I need to get another one and just create more support. Tonight, I'll be sleeping up here on this one. I've already tried it out and it does work. So the other person will be sleeping here. I'll be sleeping here, and you, like I said, you can still, in an earlier video, like I said, you can still open these, even with the foam pad and the sleeping bag on top, and get the stuff that you need access to. I've got some MREs in there. I just, I like eating them. A lot of people hate them, but I actually enjoy them. And then uh, my change of clothes for tonight's in there. The one thing that I have recognized is that getting to anything once you're in here to sleep is almost impossible because everything has to get shoved up front which i'll show in a second but i am making use of the overhead nets that i have so i have you know toilet paper up there wet wipes deodorant and then on this side i have my little bags full of toiletries which are easily accessible and that does make a difference so anything else that we need can go up there but the more we put up there the the lower the net sags so it, you do lose headspace by having this head by having this setup it is really nice not having a raised bed on both sides because being able to sit here and change clothes or do whatever has made a huge difference and trying to do anything up on this bed with only that amount of space is nearly impossible i have to have the uh, sleeping bag open on this side because that's the only way to crawl in so to get in and out of this definitely going to disturb the person that's here uh, definitely going to have to go out the side door here uh, trying to get out of this door in this elevated off of this elevated bed is, is going to be a real pain so whenever this person gets up to go to the bathroom that person is definitely going to have to tell them that they should go at that point too or it's, it's just going to be pretty comical at night trying to do that at three o'clock in the morning the use of hooks has come in real handy and these are Harbor Freight hooks that you can buy pretty cheap and you know I hang my headlight on there as well as you know a towel or a scarf or anything else I, I even hang, hung sorry the uh, 
the light that I have, I'll hang that from, from one of those hooks uh, to, to give us more light at night. And then from the side, I still have plenty of room down here that I can store stuff. Yeah, I can still access the storage compartment under here, which I still have room. And when I go on the cross country trip, I'm gonna bring these two totes, which I keep food, pots and pans, different miscellaneous things of, of what we'll need. It actually stores quite a bit. And it fits up here in the front seat. Uh, this is a pop-up shelter for, for privacy, for changing. I don't know if I'm gonna bring that or not. And then there's still some more room up front here. There's room above the dash. And then from the other side, I've got about the size bag I'm going to bring for lawn for my clothing and we'll stop along the way and, and do laundry and then I've got a cooler there as well and there's plenty of room in the floor there in between up on the dash so we can really cram the other person's uh, gear up here when we both need to sleep in the Jeep but so far, so good. I do need to come up with a few more organizational type things just because uh, trying to keep everything in easy reach, easy access has been a bit of a challenge and, and kind of a pain. It's, it's nothing that we can't work through, but it would be nice to have access to a few other items when we're in here. But when we are in here, it's pretty much going to be ready to go to sleep, go to sleep, and don't think of trying to get anything or do anything when you're in there until we get up. So that's, that's kind of the plan on the road anyway. We don't plan on doing a lot of hanging out while we're inside the Jeep. It's only going to be used to sleep. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's been used now for a night. Tonight will have two people in it and I'm, I'm not anticipating too many issues it'll be a little bit cramped quarters but this is exactly why I bought an XJ so that we can do things like this I can haul things I have room to sleep in it for two people to sleep in it and I'm real happy with the setup I don't think I'm gonna change anything regarding the setup like I said it's pretty much gonna be storage solutions at this point and trying to figure out how to access things a bit easier so if you have any questions, comments, or anything, please leave them below, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.